I want to talk about the reciprocal trigonometric functions. Now just like the other three trigonometric functions, the reciprocal functions have unit circle definitions. Recall the definitions of cosine, sine, and tangent. Cosine theta equals x, sine theta equals y, and tangent theta equals y over x, where x and y are the coordinates of the point on the terminal side of the angle. Now the three new functions are secant theta, cosecant theta, and cotangent theta. Secant theta is defined as 1 over x. Cosecant theta is 1 over y. And cotangent is x over y. Let's develop some identities with these new functions. So, because secant theta is defined as 1 over x, we can use the fact that x equals cosine theta to write 1 over cosine theta. So secant theta equals 1 over cosine theta. And that's a really useful identity when you're trying to understand what secant theta is. Cosecant theta is 1 over y. And y is sine theta. So cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sine. Tangent, we've already done this one. Tangent is sine theta over cosine theta. Cotangent, because it's defined as x over y, is cosine theta over sine theta. And you can actually see that these two are reciprocals of one another as well. Now you remember the main Pythagorean identity, cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. There are actually two other uh, Pythagorean identities. One of them is cotangent squared theta plus 1 equals cosecant squared theta. And the other is 1 plus tangent squared theta is secant squared theta. And we'll be using these Pythagorean identities later.